All right, what's up, y'all? We back again. Right, wipe down my lens and stuff. All right, <clears throat> so there we go. What's up, going on, y'all? We back again. Uh, got down me. Uh, what I've done, I guess you can call this prime times. Prime time number two. Prime time part two. So what I did, I mean, I ain't gonna touch it because I already prepped it and I'm, I'm gloved up. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, basically what I did, I went back, I sanded everything smooth. So I could get rid of a lot of those bumps and then smooth to the touch. Um, and then we're gonna go back and lay some more primer over that. So basically I did that around the whole car. Um, so we shouldn't have no issues. Uh, a couple things that we changing. Um, I was using two different regulators. Uh, what I noticed on one regulator, I think this regulator was set to like 40 PSI while I was spraying 30 PSI the last time. So now I've set this one at 40. Uh, so I have more air and we'll see what the difference is as well as thoroughly cleaning the gun. Actually, we just went ahead and we started using a new gun cleaned out. And there's the old one over there. I mean, I did clean it, but I just wanted to, I guess, introduce another variable to it. Why the fuck not? But last time I sprayed with, the, with this gun, which is very similar to the Harbor Freight gun. And yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's broke down. It's whatever, 1.7. But I'm gonna go back to the 1.4, which in my experience has been the only one that really has sprayed the way that I wanted it to. So, and they say 1.4 is a good all around tip. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that is the goal, the mission for this morning. And then I'm gonna chill out the rest of the day. Uh, but yeah, went around, scuffed it up on all sides and smoothed it all out to the touch. Hopefully this time this primer spray right. It'll lay even and then uh, I'll let it do its thing. Come back, scuff it tomorrow and then scuff it with like 320 and then uh, we ready to paint theoretically so let's get into some gangster shit all right what's good y'all it's your boy the share out 254 man we're back again uh this is about 24 hours a little bit more after the uh the remix sand job or whatever it did pretty well I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go back and sand just. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to sand it before we. We're gonna have to sand it before we go ahead and spray it. Uh, but yeah, I think we. I think we good. We to that spot. <clears throat> it's just color time. Uh, these some spray outs that I bought offline. Uh, so I went ahead and sprayed them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I mean, I got some, I got some other colors up there. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why I just felt like I wanted to, I just felt like maybe I wanted to spray it. Uh, see, this is that Daytona blue, or that LS Chevrolet blue I was telling y'all about. So I got that, and then, of course, you know, I got this little red stuff that I really had no plans for, but it was just sitting up there. I want to spray it on something, so I guess, why not shoot it on a spray out? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so that's what's up with that. Um, I think, 
I think we're going to go ahead and put this one in the game. I think it's time. I think it's time to go ahead and put this one in the game. My LV LP gun. Um, I guess we kind of see how it compares to the HV LP guns and see if there's, see if I can really tell a difference on uh, how it sprays or not. Uh, like I said, it's not really, not really much of anything to do. Like I said, the body work, that was nothing really, really major. So I'm not worried about that. Um, Super Bowl Sunday. This is my Super Bowl right here. So, that's what we're going to do. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and put this one in the game for the color. Yeah, for the base. We're going to go ahead and shoot this R500 recommended by Underground Paint King. Low volume, low pressure instead of the high volume, low pressure. Uh, apparently, it'll still spray. Um, I don't know. We're going to see what it do, though. We're going to see what the real difference is. Uh, so, basically, what I got to do is we are going to have to uh, sand it probably with like three... 20, I'm guessing. Yeah, just hit everything lightly with 320. I've never heard of anybody, I don't believe, just spraying primer without. Like after you spray the primer, you still gotta scuff it. You know what I mean? You still gotta scuff it, so that's the That is the, I guess, I don't know. I guess you already know. So yeah, that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the goal, man. Go ahead and scuff this up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to throw some color. Call it a day, get this one up out of here. So the first, in the first two months, before even the third quarter, or the first quarter is up of, 2022. You know what I'm saying? The box will have some color on it, be painted. Why that owl? That's all it is. Saucy wrote. So let's go. Alright, so I uh, got the gun kind of cleaned up. Uh man, I I love this gun, bro. <laughs> out of out of the guns that I was spraying with. This one I feel is definitely superior. Uh, too bad I can't find another one. Should have bought two when I bought it, but yeah. It did a great job, or I guess I'll let y'all be the judge of that. That's the split. Uh, I think in the future I need more paint. Uh, <clears throat> this was like a gallon. Yeah. So I had a gallon of the. I had a gallon of the paint that I had mixed up for it. Um, like I said, with this, with this gun, man, it really, it really laid kind of well, really laid well. Uh, a couple of issues I ran into, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna go back and do it because we're moving forward. Uh, we had a couple of runs. Not on this side. This side was 
was good. Uh, I would have liked to have more paint though, to be honest with you. But all in all, I think it came out all right. First, not bad for the first time. That split. That split. Uh, I had a run right here, which sucks. And then I have a little bit of a run right there. And you can barely see it, it's whatever. I ain't, I ain't fucked up about it, it is what it is. <laughs> Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. A lot of niggas was watching the Super Bowl. I was going to a Super Bowl of my own. So, uh, like I said, for the most part, everything laid away. I wanted to two this gun. I feel sprayed. I won't say a whole lot better than the other gun, but I could definitely tell the difference between the low volume, low pressure versus the high volume, low pressure. I guess this requires less air <clears throat> or less CFMs. But yeah, man, this gun did the fucking thing. Underground paint king. Whenever you find another low volume, low pressure gun, I'm all over that shit. I mean, this one will work. You know, we'll clean it up. We'll spread a two though with it, but oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, even if it ain't perfect, it looks a hundred times better. I was gonna say ten times better, but it looked a hundred times better than it did when we first got it, so she's in the game. Faux show. Shit, I might fuck around to take this to whip this. <laughs> what we need to do, what we need to do to Tuto for? See, we'll just take the goddamn photo with this. You did? Yeah, like I said, <clears throat> very happy and pleased. Like I said, lay, lay good. This gun, uh, spray it 3300 or whatever. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's a great gun. I don't know if you'll find it anywhere. I don't know if you'll find it anywhere because I've been looking for another one just so I could have one, but no luck yet. So. I know Underground Paint King said he was looking for one so he could recommend for it. So I definitely need that because this one did the motherfucking business, boy. It did. It did. So yeah, we're going to let this thing sit dry. I'm going to take my ass to sleep. I guess we'll look at it again in the morning. Let some sunlight hit it. Yeah, the results are in. All right, so first looks unmasked. You gotta excuse the top part. It was uh, it was covered by uh, the joint, so it's dusty. Uh, see now that I'm looking at it, man, like I really. Really, really wish I would've went with two gallons, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, it's covered, but it's, I mean, I feel like it could be, I don't feel like it's covered like the the roof and the hood. It's not two different colors, it's just maybe a little bit more spotty. 
I don't know. Be yeah, a first look, untaped, unmasked. I agree with Sprayway. That's probably the most sucky part. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get a we'll get her cleaned up and all that jazz. But yeah, man, she looking good. She looking good. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> nah, real nigga shit though. <laughs> real nigga shit though, dog. They be look good. That'll do it. Good enough for government work. You know what I'm saying? Let me step back and get the whole view, man. Let me get you the full. Let me wipe off my lens, make sure that be crispy. Make sure that be crispy. All right. Yeah. That be holding. Oh, that be holding. That be holding. Uh... First of all, I want to thank God and my mama. I want to thank Sprayway. I want to thank Underground Paint King. I want to thank Farway. I want to thank True Grit. I want to thank Black Rain. Got this bitch over here holding. Ah! <laughs> Sitting on them pokers, nigga. Sitting on them pokers. Like I said, it might not be 100% perfect, but I mean, it works. You know what I'm saying? So, for the DIY guy at home, you're trying to save some bread, then, uh, there you go, man. There you go. Uh, I'm seeing little. Like, it looked like little, just minor dents and dings. <sighs> nothing made, nothing that was major enough for me to be like, I'm just going to hold up production or whatever, but... Yeah, that bitch hold it. <laughs> that bitch hold it. <laughs> that bitch hold it. <laughs> Y'all niggas got to put some respect on my name this year. Bitch, we coming. All right, man. I'm gonna wrap the video up, man. Identify your weaknesses. This this is the culmination of identify your weaknesses to make it your strength. You know what I'm saying? I mean, doing the LS swap is cool, but I kind of, I mean, I did that. I identified that weakness, made it the strength. Now this. It was a whole nother level, my boy. A whole nother level. So, definitely pleased with how it came out. It's lit, it's up. And that Chevy Ride 254 is a DIY guy in these streets to be respected. To put some respect on my name. Identify your weakness to make your strength. Life is all about choice to choose wisely and productivity of procrastination. And remember, the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop, gone.